Good afternoon, my name is Teresa, and today I'm going to be talking about pit bulls. They are a very misunderstood breed, and today I hope to shed some light um, and some insights into this breed, maybe to help you understand them a little bit better. Today I'll be sharing three key points to help understand this breed. The first is their history, physical description, and temperament. Next is certain facts about the breed that maybe you didn't know about. And lastly, my personal experience. First, let's take a look at the origin. These dogs derive from the Mazzolian family of dogs, which today you would recognize as Mastiffs. And they were crossbred with the different indigenous breeds from Europe. In 1121 BC was the very earliest the pit bull or the Mazzolian family of dogs was recorded. Originally, these dogs were bred to guard flocks, homes, people. They were also used to hunt and they were also used in times of war. Over the years, the introduction of different breeds of dogs has led to what we recognize today as the pit bull. Next, let's talk about their physical appearance. They are extremely recognizable by their wide, flat head, broad chest, and their muscular physique. These dogs can weigh anywhere from 30 to 80 pounds and get about 20 inches high. They're also known for their locking jaw. They don't have a locked jaw. This is a myth. They are just extremely stubborn creatures. <laughs> Uh, they do have short hair, and they are recognizable by either a red nose, blue nose, or brindle. Those are your three common color combinations. And then they do belong to the terrier breed with four different sub-breeds. The American Pit Bull Terrier, the American Staffordshire Terrier, Staffordshire Bull Terrier, and the American Bulldog. Their temperament is very high on the ATS temperament test list. They score in the, in the top 23%. Um, these dogs are very loving, playful, goofy. They are protective and loyal. Like I said earlier, they are extremely stubborn, but they are smart and very high energy. Uh, this breed does require a very strong-willed owner uh, otherwise, they will walk all over you. So you need to assert your dominance right away with this breed. Next, let's talk about some fun facts about this breed. Did you know that Petey from the Little Rascals was a pit bull? Presidents Teddy Roosevelt and Woodrow Wilson also were pit bull owners. Pitbulls are the second most temperament breed. They rank right up there with the Golden Retriever. And the least temperament is the Chihuahua. Pitbulls were also mascots in the early 20th, early 20th century American history. The RCA mascot was a pitbull. Buster Brown Shoe Store, do you remember that store? Their mascot was a pitbull. And also in the early 20th century, they were used on army recruiting posters. Finally, Michael Vick, we all remember him. He owned 51 pit bulls when he was arrested for dog fighting. 30 of them were rehabilitated and placed in loving homes. And four of them are therapy dogs. I think that right there debunks the myth that once your dog is aggressive, they're always gonna be aggressive. That's not so. Let's move on to my favorite personal experience and testimonials. This is Nikki. She was my husband's pit bull as he was growing up in his teenage years. His parents gifted him Nikki on Easter Sunday when he was 13 years old. She was the rent of her litter and she had parvo. She grew to be a very big girl. She's probably about 80 pounds right there. 
and she lived to be about 16 years old. <clears throat> she, I remember, was very playful. She loved Teddy at belly rubs. She uh, loved to give kisses and to sleep in the same bed as you. In fact, she would uh, stretch her arms out and kind of push you off the bed because she required a lot of space. She uh, was a great family dog. There were some babies that were around her, um, a little two, four month, two to four month old baby, and she would lay down next to it and sleep with the baby and um, never harmed it. Hmm. She was a good girl. Her nickname was Mooches, uh, that derived from her, her loving to kiss, so it was Smooches Pooches, and it just kind of morphed into to Mooches. So. She's missed. Next is Daisy. She is my six month old little pit bull. Her nicknames include Daisy Daisy, Crazy Daisy, and Oopsie Daisy. In a moment, you'll see why. Does that look like a vicious dog to you? Here she is seven weeks old. She was playing with the uh, remnants of a, a gift paper roll. As you can see, she's really vicious and she tears it up. Next, this is her attacking my cat. I think she's more afraid of the cat than the cat is of her. And here, She's doing her favorite pastime, being dragged throughout the house by my husband. Very aggressive. Okay. There we have social media testimonials. I trolled TikTok to find some of the uh, funniest videos, I guess regarding pit bulls. So, warning, the following videos are pretty graphic and they may result in some unexpected reactions, so viewer discretion is advised. Here we have two pit bulls being attacked by whipped cream. They are very vicious and aggressive, as you can see. Here, we have a pit bull that's attacking its owner and tearing its finger off. Really? This is what everybody thinks of when you say pit bull. Actually, that's what you get. There's the goofiness. And finally, a dog attacking a cat. It's going to rip it up. <laughs> All right. So in conclusion, we talked about the history, physical description, and temperament. The earliest record of these dogs are from 1121 BC. They are noted for their wide head and their muscular physique, as well as their block jaw. They rank in the top 23% in temperament. They're right up there with golden retrievers. Um, Dogs can be rehabilitated, as we've seen with uh, Michael Vick's dogs. And my personal experience with these creatures have been nothing but fun, loving, loyal animals. In fact, my dog, she can't even be left alone in, this, in a different room because she's such a sucky baby is what we call her. She, uh, she has to be right there with you. She's just a big baby. So, I hope you learned some new facts about this breed and maybe it helped you to understand them a little bit better. Thank you for your time.